Aquarius, in today's reading we'll be looking at what blessings are coming towards you for the rest of 2022 and I was shuffling off camera to get your energy and the cards will shuffle uh, on camera as well but right away Knight of Wands, bottom deck energy paired with the Two of Wands. I see you making plans for travel uh, right away, long distance travel is coming through but it is a general reading, it can be short distance, but it's making plans for a trip here. There may have been some delays for whatever reason, maybe finances weren't in order or external factors, and I see forward movement here. Some of you, if you are actively dating, you could be uh, making plans to go on a date with someone, and you have to sort of, you know, discuss your schedules here and come together, but we'll see. I think so far Gemini was the most love focused reading in terms of blessings. Let's see what comes through for you, Aquarius. What blessings are coming towards Aquarius? Knight of Wands. Yeah, there's some exciting news coming your way. Ace of Swords. Something that you'll be very excited about. You're making plans. You're feeling very motivated, charged up. It won't be for everyone, but some of you I am getting. There's some positive communication coming in. Someone may be wanting to take you out, court you. They're flirting with you. I see a lot of action here coming from this person. But this can be news in regards to finances. Let's do some Ace of Swords. Yeah. Wow, some of you are meeting someone that has potential to be the one. If you've been actively dating, you've made your choice. Some of you are choosing to move things forward with the Virgo. If you're specifically dealing with the Virgo, that energy is will be coming back around to you. Um, you're the one they want. They're very attracted to you. What blessings are coming towards Aquarius? six of wands but they are reminding you that you're very desirable attractive one of the few signs to get six of wands i think one other sign got this but jupiter and leo is talking about exposure expansion recognition praise um and some of you you're being admired for your looks your dressing sense but it's the full package here aquarius you walk into a room people stare <laughs> that's the energy you're coming through as very powerful. Also someone who's extremely generous. But I see a lot of movement with two of your cards being wands. It's all about initiative. I don't see you sitting still for too long. You're feeling motivated and you're getting a lot done. Some of you are active on social media and that is where I see that exposure, right? This is very positive for those of you that are on some sort of platform. You're wanting a progression here in terms of followers or something. But it's also having confidence in your ideas. Believing in yourself. What blessings are coming towards Aquarius rest of 2022? Queen of Wands. I talk about confidence. One of the more attractive and confident queens out of the four. Don't worry about gender, right? That's not what we're looking at. It's more the energy that you're embodying. Strong magnetism here. I was telling you, right? You walk into a room, people people stare, and you're giving off this powerful aura. Um, someone that's important. When you speak, people listen. And you're also a great leader. Um, you're great at inspiring, motivating, uplifting others. So that may be a role that you're taking on here. But do you see? It's all wands. Queen of Pentacles. I see you focusing more on yourself and not paying attention to lower vibrational energies. Five of Wands can be petty arguments, one-upping each other, um, competitive, jealous energies, maybe workplace drama, arguments within the home. And if that is the case, that is where you'll see improvement. But a lot of you, I see you're not really caring about what other people are saying, thinking. You know yourself and you're confident in your skin. So I don't see gossip or, you know, people being able to bring you down in any way.
I see you moving your body, you getting more healthy. If you have any goal when it comes to your body, I see you achieving that. Some of you may be personal trainers, or you may be in a sport where it requires a lot of physical strength. What blessings are coming towards... Oh, sorry. What blessings are coming towards Aquarius? Two of Wands. I see the globe and I see the water. Some of you are traveling across. It's like traveling to a different country. What blessings are coming to If you were really indecisive or confused here in the past, another blessing that is coming in is you have direction, you have purpose. And there's no stopping you, right? If So if that is something you struggle with, indecision, I think that is what you're coming out of. But I see you planning for your future and feeling very hopeful when it comes to your future. But all your cards are wands so far, which is crazy to me. What blessings are coming towards Aquarius? Another one. Oh my goodness. So there's a lot of fire, passion here um, in order in terms of what you want to achieve, building a name for yourself, but I can't ignore this bottom deck energy because this is talking about love. Six of Cups, Empress, the lovers. Some of you are moving to the next level. I see engagement, marriage, but moving things to a higher level of commitment is what I'm getting. Some of you, your life purpose is to work with children or those that are in a vulnerable position. You have a gift when it comes to dealing with children, pets. That is what I'm getting. Some of you will be getting pregnant if that is what you're manifesting. If you're of childbearing age or your partner, maybe. But this is a strong emotional connection and it feels like it's meant to be it feels faded but in terms of your dating life if you're completely single i do see a significant relationship here but there's other people vying for your attention so that is where the confusion may be coming in where you have to make a choice between all these people that are vying for your attention but you're being pulled in all different directions. People want a piece of you, but there's only one you, right? So I see you having to choose, and you have the wisdom, you have the experience. I mean, there's no one above the Empress, right? But also in terms of, it's, <laughs> I don't like using this, but I got, I, I was getting the same energy for Libra, but this is a glow up. There's some changes when it comes to your physical appearance for the better. Maybe you're eating healthier, you're working out, but there's a natural glow here. You're, you look healthy is what I'm getting. You have a lot of energy. So if you've been down or burnt out, that is what will be shifting. I'm seeing vitality. So better health is really coming through. Some of you are wanting to be a mother or a father, and I see that happening. I think I briefly touched upon that here. I don't think I want any more cards here for you. Tower, King of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you have been through, I don't know what this was, a fallout, someone that you had a strong emotional connection with, a friend, a lover, a coworker a job situation, something that crumbled, wasn't built on a solid foundation, and what was wanting to peek through is King of Pentacles, which talks about stability, right? Consistency. So that is what you're attracting. It's like the path is being cleared for you so that you can reach your destination. That is what I'm getting. And some of you, a lot of these changes may come through very unexpectedly. You don't see it coming, but it's for your better. It's like right after. This energy is so crazy. Sometimes tower can be something like losing your job and then finding your dream job, your life purpose, the lovers, right? 
I'm getting more examples when it comes to your finances. So for example, someone turning you down, you've applied for a job and you're really feeling down about that. And then next thing you know, you have something better, higher paying, right? That's the vibe. But in terms of even love life, right? Because I was seeing you coming out of a connection. Um, it can be finding someone that you're meant to be with. The one is what I'm seeing. This energy that you're attracting may be younger than you. Now let's see astrology for you. Maybe we can pinpoint sort of what houses you'll see progress in. What blessings are coming towards Aquarius? Rest of 2022. Felt like I talked a lot in your reading. I'm not surprised, semi-sextile. Your luck is coming through sort of sporadically and it's sort of spread out, right? Is what I'm getting. But definite foreign travel, Sagittarius long distance travel. I felt it from the get-go. Some of you see this right now, others of you don't. And it's unexpected changes in your plans, right? One situation doesn't work out, you're off in another. Next thing you know, you're sitting in a different country or across the country. Some of you are moving, you're relocating. But whatever is happening, it's for your highest good. You're meant to go down this path. The lovers. We have encourages, sees the potential in, gives hopes, gives hope to, grows, realizes, rewards. semi style is just doors opening for you and things generally going in your favor. A little bit of effort and a little bit of the stars assisting you and you're on the right track what blessings are coming towards aquarius fourth house this has to do with your family your home north node some of you may be wanting to go into the real estate business that is also coming to mind buying selling houses or you're building your dream home, you're moving into your dream home. There may even be some little, if you don't resonate with that, can be re renovations. But I say moving. I see you moving or traveling to see family if they're overseas or something. Pluto, yeah, all the transformation changes when it comes to your fourth house, your home life, your stability. Some of you are purchasing your first home, and that is a victory. But there's a sense of peace and security within the home, loving connections, relationships. Some of you are moving in with someone, I'm seeing that. We have Taurus the bombshell. You're very attractive. What blessings are coming towards? I see you eating better. That is coming through strongly. I don't know why that's significant, but yeah. Making good food. Home-cooked meals is what I'm getting. Taurus, fourth house. But comforts of the home. You're driving a lot of joy, satisfaction with your, from your loved ones, but just spending a lot of time at home as well. Your energy is very grounded down to earth. I like this because all of the wands are coming through. And sometimes... You know, we can get carried away with our passions, but Taurus in the fourth house is here to ground you. I'm, I'm seeing that you come from a great family or you have a great values. I don't see that you'll let pride get in your way or success get to your head with the Empress. There's a humble energy about you, despite you being very successful. You're being put on a pedestal, 10th house. Whatever you do for your career, I see greater responsibility, but you're enjoying this and you have the energy to tackle whatever comes your way. I'm telling you, I don't make this up. If you follow astrology, what is this telling you? Sun, 6th house, 10th house. Changes in your diet, your health. More vitality, energy. But I see you getting more organized here, but it's like getting a lot done. It's like a to-do list here I'm getting. 
and it's slow and steady steps. Do you see the stairway here? It's almost like the red carpet and we have the throne. I'm getting if you are attracting love, which I was seeing strongly, it's power couple vibes. And some of you are meeting this love interest through work. They can have sun in Virgo or sun in the Cap, sun in Capricorn, but we have all three of the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you may be working in the medical field, doctors, nurses, that is coming through. You're being of service to others, and that is what you're being recognized for. You're very active within your community. But I see a lot of dis discipline, dedication here uh, when it comes to your career. So it's success with effort, but I feel like you're getting more out of this situation than you're expecting is the vibe here. I see some of you purchasing a home. That is what I'm seeing. Dealings or relationship with a man can be your energy or someone that is coming in. What blessings are coming towards Aquarius rest of 2022? It says you will receive a gift, but I wasn't quite ready with my shuffle. So there can be presents, gifts headed your way. What blessings? Because even in the Six of Cups, he's giving her the flowers. Gender doesn't matter. So you may be getting flowers or some sort of gesture from a specific person. What blessings? April. So the, a Taurus energy again. Some of you are getting committed to a Taurus, Aquarius. Or a Taurus will be playing a significant role here. We also have new job and career. What blessings are coming towards? Moon. Again, fourth house is also moon. Strong cancer energy. We have changes in your life. What blessings? Romance is in the air. Yeah. Some of you are getting committed or you're meeting a Taurus here. And they're saying you're on the right path. Yeah, you're being guided. I love this. Look, chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. And arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Wow. Wall, misunderstanding. You're getting a lot of months here. We have April and June. So for the signs, we have uh, Taurus and Gemini here. Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. What blessings. Involvement with the law. Yeah, there's a significant male energy. It seems to be related to your finances here as well. We have purse, pay attention to your finances. Dealings or relationship with a man, egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. This definitely can be you, Aquarius, or an energy that will be coming in. They're in a position of leadership and they can assist you in some way. But if, this, if you resonate with this masculine energy, um, it's talking about you being in a position of power. Some of you may be working in the legal field, but if there is any legal matters, this is beautiful because it's saying it's going in your favor, right? It's blessings. What blessings are coming towards Aquarius? February. We have happiness. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. We have deep personal strength and peace that assure success. Deep personal strength. So it's strong willpower here as well. We have dog close up. Pleasure with a close friend. If there's been any arguments, disagreements within the home, that is what is turning around. I want a few more here for you. These are very accurate, I've observed in my life. And we have fair women. Dealings are relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. What blessings are coming towards Aquarius? You will be playing a different role. Financial pinch. A goal-oriented person. 
I'm seeing a raise, a promotion. You'll be asked to step into a higher position with the 10th house. And some of you, there's a relationship here that will be moving to the next level. Yeah, some of you are getting married. We have psychic abilities. Trust your intuition. We have gong, an exciting event. A distant friend is thinking of you. But again, an exciting event and distant friend, you may be traveling towards this friend. They're saying beware of greed. I don't really see that as a major issue, but if that is the case, it's a little bit of a heads up. Look out for a Gemini or a Taurus, is what I'm seeing. What blessings are coming towards Aquarius? I'm excited to see what this deck says for you. So definitely, if you are a masculine energy, a fair woman, this can be a significant other, a partner that you're attracting. Um treasure you're the only sign to get this an unexpected windfall will soon be yours you will feel you have it all a very auspicious time wow something major and we had you will be receiving a gift this is unexpected for you it's like a bonus at work i'm also getting that but you're feeling very happy charged up you're wanting to celebrate your success with those around you, six of wands. You're being celebrated. We have journey. Don't fear leaving everything familiar behind and entering into the unknown. It is safe to take a risk. There's something major happening here. Again, fears. Some of you are fearing commitment or fearing a con... I don't know, something in regards to your love life. But look. Some of you are having to relocate because of a love situation, a partnership. Because it says, don't fear leaving everything behind. And I was getting relocation. But it can just be moving to the next level, right? That can be scary. Um, some changes within your living situation if you're moving in together. So it's minor things. Despite how dark things appear, light is breaking through. Be brave and find a way through it. Connection. You will sense an energetic connection with someone. Trust it. Their company will bring many blessings. Someone will enter your life to help you and who has potential to become someone significant in your life. Lovers, you're destined to meet this person. It's faded. Doesn't always have to be love, Aquarius. It can be a strong friendship with someone. What blessings are coming towards Aquarius? One more for you. Round and round. Give attention to situations that keep repeating themselves. There is a lesson that you're resisting to learn. And that, le that lesson that you're resisting to learn is boundaries. So that is something that we need to work on. I don't really see that. Maybe that's something from the past, right? But the Queen of Wands usually is has no problem standing up for themselves because your reading is very love focused i do want to pull out the love deck um i didn't do that for every sign but yours is heavy focus on love here but also work success so it's a bit of both really health love work um office affair some of you will be meeting uh through work but we also have into the unknown. You must proceed without knowing what the future holds. Conquer your fear of the unknown. So that may be the fear energy we were picking up on. It's like clinging to one's comfort zone, but that's the past energy. Now you're ready. It's like bring it. That's your energy. Bring it, Knight of Wands. You're great at adjusting um, to new situations I'm getting or you will be here you really fit in anywhere you're placed if that makes sense you're flexible and you're adaptable and that is coming through as a blessing here for you happily ever after you're stepping into your happily ever after a future filled with so much joy and personal fulfillment 
Some of you, this is unforeseen love, and you're moving in together. We have common law union. Cooking, spending time together. I see quality time with your partner. I'm not seeing you just meeting someone. I'm seeing a lot of spending time together, doing things, being very active as a couple, right? So it's not just you chatting and, hey, how are you flirting a little bit here and there. This seems to be something significant. Pregnancy. A new love is entering your life. But again, Empress can be pregnancy with the Six of Cups. So if you are manifesting pregnancy, <laughs> that is coming. A new love is entering your life whom you may have a child with or work on a new project together. But it can be because of all this wand, energy, fire, creativity, giving birth to a new idea, a project. Some of you can be entrepreneurs. Ooh, I was seeing abstinence. If there's been no action or a feeling of drought when it comes to the passionate side or just your love life in general, you have nothing to worry about. You'll have your pick. <laughs> if that is what you're wanting the score oh my god do you want to see what was wanting to pop through marriage and we have online connection some of you are meeting someone online which is why i was seeing the relocation or distance so whoever this energy is the knight of wands i'm getting a more dominant not dominant um, this is this is someone who takes charge. They go after their passions, what they want. So I do see a very persuasive sort of courting you energy. <laughs> and they won't stop before you say yes. So yeah, this will be the pursuer is what I'm getting with the score. We have marriage here. You will either take your relationship to the next level or you will get married. There's much to celebrate. Yeah, I see proposal. I see marriage. Um, you Your relationship being out in the open right this can be a celebration as well but what is standing out to me is taking your relationship to the next level so if you're just dating talking it's moving in together right you're married perhaps you want to expand your family i see a baby so it really depends some of you as a couple you're wanting to purchase your first home that is coming through one advice card for Aquarius says, love life here for the rest of 2022. What advice do you have for Aquarius in regards to love life for the rest of 2022? Gift. And we had that. Didn't we have that? You will be receiving a gift. Don't you love the synchronicities? And this has been coming through for each sign. It, it's actually chilling. We have, you may be surprised by someone's act of kindness. Be open to small gestures or any proposals that come your way. Embrace the gift. I don't know how this is going to manifest for you. I was seeing your love life. I was seeing a raise. I was seeing a bonus. There's a gift that you will be very happy about. Some of you are not expecting this. It's unexpected. We had that. But again, what is coming to mind is proposals. But do you see? Do you see that? That's a proposal. It's a gift. I'll leave it there, Aquarius. Take care of yourself. And I will see you sometime next week. Bye.